people. In that last movie uh, called A Free Kick in the Nuts, it's kind of long, it's not getting a lot of views. But I showed how uh, in the beginning of Matthew, when it's talking about Abraham, it's talking about this constellation right here, Cease. And uh, Cease means, you know, the end and the beginning. And, uh, and so this is the same as Brahma. And it has to do with his, his stick here, his broomstick. And then I showed you how his son Isaac was the first thing it pointed to. And this was the son Isaac, has the, the goat on his shoulder. You know, the, when they brought Isaac, he was going to sacrifice his son. And God said, no, no, here's your sheep. And, and Isaac is the coochie. And so uh, coochie is Isaac backwards. And so I didn't realize the, all the knowledge that they had then. But this star is one of the brightest stars in the sky. And it's the shortest distance to the edge of the galaxy. If you, if you turn from here and go straight through the sun, you're going to the center of the galaxy. This is the direction that goes away from the galaxy. And so these four stars are easy to recognize. It's the sixth brightest star in the sky. And it was the helical rising of Easter back in the day. You know, it's these four stars. And it's called Auriga. You know, the, the or, that's the symbol for gold. But I was reading on down that, that paragraph, and, uh, and it sent me back here, except it, it, it wrote it a different way. You know, it's poetry. And the, the old Greek, it sounds like, an Englishman, he writes in English, and he's hearing a Frenchman talk on the boat, and he's trying to spell the French words with it within English. But the second in time it talked about it, it um, it was it was spelled a total different way when I found it, and it was kind of saying the quartermaster's job, and so I googled a quartermaster constellation. This is what come up. They say it's Latin for the charioteer. It stood for the goat herd or the shepherd. And that's why they said the Jews and Christians worship a goat. And he's got a big page. And uh, he talks about he had a, a race with the son of, of Hermes and died. And God put his constellation in the sky. And sometimes he's seen riding a, a four horse rig. He was credited to be the inventor of the, the quadra rig. You know, the four horse rig, Latin, the, the quadra jugga. And so this juggum, you know, that's the Latin for yoke. And that's where your word goyum come from. You know, when it's goyum is this jug backwards. And so in Hebrew, it, often it'll say to jug the goy. It'll end with the M, it'll be on the other end where it says the goyum. It's actually read from jug the goyum, the jug the guys. To put them in a yoke and so capella you know that's the latin word for the goat it's associated with the mythology of the she-goat amathea amathea you know so ama you know that's mother and althea is truth you know the mother truth and so that's the mother truth is is it's always directly away from the center of our galaxy and so it trips me out that they knew this way back then, you know, when this was written at least 2,000 years ago. So they say. But I know when I when I look at my horoscope, it's like they're a whole sign off. They might be lying by about a thousand years. But the two biggest stars in it are way bigger than our sun. And the word for it in the old Arabic, you know, was meant the goat. In the old Sumerian, it was the goat star. This brightest star and it's called Capella. I mean, the little goat. It was the brightest star in, for 50,000 years, 150,000 years ago. But it's mentioned in the 20th century BC in the Cadian inscription. So they say this Bill and Jay of the pre-Columbian Monte Alban site built around 275 BC. It's sitting up here in these mountains they say it was built at a different orientation to the other structures in order to line it up with this capilla rising on its, on its helical rise 
you know that's the star that comes up just before the sun I say it took place within the day of the sun passing directly overhead you know that's that's Easter when the sun comes overhead you know the sun is directly overhead at high noon on the equator twice per year at two equinoxes you know at Easter when the sun's on its way up and fall when it's on its way back down and so that was their ancient Jesus so I want to read y'all this this short little poem here that comes after all the uh, putting the heavens together here and show you the meaning of some of them words but uh, I stopped here in that last one and like I say this is this is all poetry and he's talking about all the sights that you see it's talking about all the strange sights that you see in here in poetry and so it's not calling them by the name that they're given he's giving them a different name that describes them so if this name wasn't here you would still be understand which one it was you know you got you got a constellation called El Centauro you know that's it's half donkey and half man and you see that's one of those that doesn't have the hyphen like the others most of them have so it just reads straight through you know the the man ass half man half ass and the reason it's like this it wasn't like this when they first wrote this astrology but as the times change you know they had qualities connected to all these and so they had to kind of divide them up and recreate all the monsters and it when it talks about this David the king you know that's divide the the basil you know oh watches back in the day we used to have these things called watches we'd wear them on our arm to tell them what time you couldn't talk on them you know like a phone but this is a basil around here with these numbers same as on a compass the basil it's talking about the numbers on the outside you know and it moves it's kind of like a little slide rule you could turn it around and use it for a little simple calculations if you couldn't add you know on the boat out there on the bridge wings the watch will have a, a compass you know a gyro repeater and he'll use this sight glass you know to to, to to find things when he finds things out there he'll set him up in the glass and then he can he can holler back to the to the captain hey uh, I got something here and you could give him a bearing a 363 bearing you know is what that compass might say in there what what that compass what that bearing is but if you were talking to somebody who didn't have a a compass handy you would give them a bearing off the basil you know the boats always pointing at zero and you would tell them it's 20 degrees off the port 90 degrees off the port you know at the beam at the port beam and so they wouldn't have to be carrying a compass to know what you were talking about and so when it says basil that's what it's talking about out here and you put this on your telescope so when you're shooting stars you know you you know where they're at and that's what this is this is for you know when the stars come up in the morning they're on the horizon you shoot those stars and find out where you're at out there in the middle of the ocean and that's why this word you know for King David the Basilia divide it's so similar to the name of this compass constellation La Busola the compass so this first starts talking about the, the water creatures then it talks about the land animals and the birds you know the birds are the con the priest and that's the planets and then at the end it starts talking about the moon and so that's why it's talking about the 14s all through here and that's why they still marry their daughters off when they're 14 in Alabama today because that it doesn't mean 14 it means ripe this is a uh, this say that they say this is deca tesseras deca deca meaning 10 and tesseras meaning 4 and it doesn't tessera means the harvest it's a greek word for harvest the harvesters and this isn't deca Anytime you see an EK together, that's an L. And this is Della. Della Tesserers. And so that's Del is, is Spanish, is to the harvesters, is what that means. 
And so a new moon, you know, 14 days later, it's ready for harvest. That's when it's full. And after 14 years old, oh, they over the hill then. That's where that all come from. But this is um, Passe Owen A. Janae. Passe Owen A. Janae. Like I say, it looks like an Englishman trying to spell some words he heard from a Frenchman that probably doesn't read and write. He just speaks the language. But Passe Owen A. Janae. If we put that in Google Translator, you know, Passe Owen A. Janae. Were you young? And that's not quite right. You know, passe is um, the pass. And then Owen, own. The pass on age, jene, is young. The passing age, jene. You know, you're passing 14 is what it's saying. The passe, the pass, the pass on age, jene, the young. Uh, they'll say uh, French, you know, jene, they'll spell it with a J. But it's, uh, they'll say it's beautiful or young, you know. You know, passing the age of beauty over the hill, away, a po, away. And then this Abram got this mark here that means read it backwards or forwards. The more in of room, M-O-O-R, more as in M-O-R-E, and then B is in, same as the Hebrew, B is in. And then A, B, the B is reading as a V now, of, you know, the more in of room, to make more room, passing of him, passing when age of Jene, of ripeness, you know, 14, over the hill, away to more in of room, those divide Jene, the beauty of Della harvesters to the harvesters and so a couple movies back I talked about the rape of the Sabines is when they went and they were stealing all the French women you know they's probably uh collected them up at 14 and away you know a po is opposing and it's uh it's a way and away most of the time we can read it as a way sometimes from but a way divide and so these are both those, E-O-S, you know, E is T-H-E-O-S. And this is those, when you see this line above this H like this, is those. So when they're both together, it changes the meaning of the second one. And so it's those it, those it has. And so they're still, you know, those those, you know, if you're talking about somebody that has something, the ones you're talking about is those, those people. The ones that has it is the ones I'm talking about. And away divide those it has. Metotokesis is, is not carrying away. Met, you know, is with. And O-I is how. And kesis, you know, telekinesis is the tele is from a distance kinesis the con is the controller and nesis is the motion and so with how to move is a better reading of that and to in a way divide those it has with how to move meta metatechesis the Babylonos. And so uh, the Babylon, when God named Babylon, he named Babylon because it meant confusing. And that's what Babylon means, the Babylon. And so the, what it's saying is the, the language is changing. The Babylon knows. The Babylon knows. And so that's because the Hebrew calendar is impossible. You have to be a priest to understand it. Because every day has a different name for 19 years before they'll name. Because it collects a, a first name. It's like Spanish names. They have like 14 names. You know, they're, they have their name. And then they have their father's name. Their father's father's name. Their father's mother's name. And, the, and their mother's name. And their mother's father's name. And that's how 
the, their calendar worked. And, and so the name of the day, when you hear the name of the day, you would know where all the planets were just by hearing when somebody told you what day it was. You know, if you was an astrologer, you would know everything about them just by the name of the day. The Babylon as is the name of the day. And it's confusing. Babylon, confusing. The huge names. Jene, the beauty. The beauty, same again. Della, Della Tesseras, the beauty to the, the harvesters. The Babylon knows, the, the, the difficult language knows, is beautiful to the harvesters. And away those from with how it moves, metachesis. The Babylon knows those too. Cross to Jene, the young, the beautiful, of the Della Tesseras, of the of to the harvesters. The harvesters, you know, every fourteen years it's time to harvest them. They're they're ready to be bred. You know, in fourteen days the moon goes from new to full. It's it's at it's full, full grown, fourteen, and that's where that comes from. And people misunderstanding this throughout the years have been marrying off their daughters at fourteen. Alright, I'm gonna cut this off here. Good day.